Hey YouTubers, Mr. Cleaner Nash. Um, wanted to do a quick uh, EDC video on my everyday carry. Um, this is for the most part complete, although um, you'll notice that uh, I'm probably missing a smaller EDC knife, even though I'm temporarily using my Cold Steel AK-47 as my self-defense slash um, EDC blade. Even though it's more of a so, uh, you know, in my opinion, it's more of a tactical blade than an EDC. So just keep that in mind. And then, um, so let's start with this. This is a, um, a Streamlight Stylus Pro, if I can put it in the damn camera frame here. Uh, you know, people are familiar with this. This is, uh, this has been reviewed by Nothing Fancy, who did a great review on it. And um, it's one of the best lights for the money. Certainly, in my opinion, um, I didn't get the compact one just because um, I didn't need anything smaller than this. Um, the length, I like the length, the pen length on it, and um, you know it's come in handy a lot. It has the longer battery life than the compact version of this. Um, I just, you know, I'd rather have longer battery life and it be a little bit longer. And next, of course, I already gave that away. That's the uh, Cold Steel AK-47. Um, it's a uh, three and a half inch blade. Um, uh, it's uh, OS 8 steel, which is pretty durable. It's not the best, but it's pretty durable. Um, the interlocking system on this uh, is very sturdy and superior to uh, um, some of the other systems. This is a, uh, it's on the tip of my tongue. I'm sure I'll come up with it later in the video but uh, the locking system um, this is their new system their uh, lighter AK-47 that they came out with it doesn't have the uh, there's no stainless steel liners in it and it's got a great grip to it with of course the uh, um, the pummel the uh, aluminum pummel on the end which could come in handy in uh, non-lethal situations um, the uh, this will shred your pants, so I, I don't really use the, the belt clip that often or the pocket clip. Um, <clears throat> like I said in other videos, nothing fancy did a review where he smoothed that out, so it was easy, easy in, easy out. And uh, I don't know why they they do that with the G10. It's just it's pretty rough, and it just shreds. It shreds jeans, shreds you know slacks, whatever. It doesn't matter, shorts. Um, so just keep that in mind. But you know, this is definitely. Um, you know, comes in handy as well. <clears throat> and my uh, my pocket carry. This is actually a Desanti uh, Superfly holster, pocket holster um, for concealment. It uh, it holds my uh, my new car P380, and um, I have the uh, Pack Meyer number four grips on it. Fits perfect. I tried to get the Hogue Junior. Um, grip sleeve grips for this and they were you know they look like shit you had to trim them and it just looked like shit afterwards um, I highly recommend the Pack Meyer. in most cases I would recommend Hogue for for most pistols and revolvers but in this case they're shit they just don't fit this uh, this car compared to the Pack Meyer. so um, this is actually loaded I should unload this so you guys don't Get upset and cry. Uh, I have a Hornady hollow point in here right now. Um, there you go. You can see the chamber is empty. No magazine. Um, I love this pistol, Car P380. It's just uh, it's just a hell of a little pistol um, for the money. You know it's. Uh, Definitely um, uh, quality, as I did in my previous review. Uh, car first impressions, uh, and then the car uh, range report. There you have it, EDC, Mr. Cleaner Nash.